From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I am your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we are going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. The temple town of Ayodhya in India's Uttar Pradesh is beaming with anticipation as it prepares for the historic consecration of its grand Ram Temple. The city is bustling with activity as the workers finalize the magnificent pink sandstone and marble structure to welcome the world to witness this religious extravaganza, bringing all the communities under one roof. Let's take a look. The temple town of Ayodhya in India's Uttar Pradesh is dazzling with glittering lights day and night as it endeavours to document history with once-in-a-lifetime event of consecration of the grand temple dedicated to the most revered Hindu god, Lord Ram. The temple town is buzzing with life as the preparation work accelerates ahead of the sacred ceremony on the 22nd of January this year. More than 4,500 workers are labouring round the clock to give finishing touches to the gigantic temple of Lord Ram, which is being carved with pink sandstone and white marble. In this spirit, to provide ease of travel for the devotees to the birthplace of Lord Ram, the Indian government also inaugurated an international airport named after Maharishi Valmiki, celebrating Indian poet and author of the Hindu epic text Ramayan, which chronicles the tale of Lord Ram. Moreover, railway stations and bus stops have also been renovated, giving them a complete makeover as the city is expecting over 4.5 million tourists a month, more than the population of Ayodhya, which is 3.5 million. हमें देश के लिए आज यहाँ पंद्रह हजार करोड़ रुपए से अधिक के विकास कार्यों का सिलान्यास और लोकार्पण हुआ है। इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर से जुड़े ये काम आधुनिक अयोध्या को देश के नक्शे पर Ayodhya, which was long celebrated for its peaceful coexistence of religions like Hinduism, Buddhism, Sufism and Jainism, is transforming into a major pilgrimage hub. The newly built Ram Mandir complex will be 250 feet wide, 380 feet long and 161 feet high and will be designed in the Gurjara Chaulakya style of Nagara style architecture, the kind of architecture primarily found in northern India. The state government is pulling out all the stops for the success of the temple as every material being used from design to drawing has been done at IIT Chennai and the structure is anticipated to have a lifespan of over 1000 years. For the success of the most awaited ceremony, Sri Ram Janmabhoomi Tirtha Kshetra Trust and many others across the country are working round the clock for the hospitality such as food and accommodation of the devotees. सिलिंग आ रहे हैं। उसमें एक ही सजार नाम जापक नेपाल से आ रहे हैं, जो नौ दिवसीय अखंड सीता राम का जाप होगा। और सारी सुविधा एक हजार आठ है जो सिलिंग बनेगा, उस पर रुद्राव से के पढ़े रुद्राव से होगा। जी एक ही सजार नाम जापक नेपाल से आ रहे हैं, जो राम नाम करने के लिए आ रहे हैं, और अपने राजस्थान से आ रहे हैं, मुंबई से आ रहे हैं, कितने परांतों सब परांतों से आ रहे हैं लोग सब 
फोन करने के लिए जाप करने के लिए और हमारे प्रभु श्री राम लला को प्राण प्रतिष्ठा के शुभ अवसर पर सब लोग का सौभाग्य है कि आप लोग आकर के वो लोग दर्शन करने के लिए इच्छा से मिल रहा है दी एटीन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज वर्थ राम मंदिर कॉम्प्लेक्स बिल्ट ऑन दी साइट ऑफ बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ लॉर्ड राम अलॉन्ग विद दी न्यू इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट रोड्स एंड ब्रिजेस इज एंटिसिपेटेड टू ब्रिंग एन इकोनॉमिक बूम टू अयोध्या Furthermore, the Grand Temple of Ayodhya will not only add to the economy of the country by boosting the hospitality and tourism sectors, but also generate employment opportunities in the region. Business to zaroor badega, main sankhya badegi, darshanlu aayenge, yatri aayenge, aur Bhagwan ka hub mandir ban raha hai, Ram Lala ka. Isse lag raha hai, desh videsh pattern ke bhi videshi pattern bhi Ayodhya me aane ki sambhavna bahut adhi. The ongoing mega development work besides the construction of the temple which will attract lakhs of tourists daily is bound to revolutionize the economies of more than a dozen neighboring districts. Ye pehle to thoda kam customer chalte the ab jaise apna pratishtha hone wali hai to bheed aa rahi hai lagatar to ne mara ki 22 tar ke baad aur zyada customer chalenge to Ram ji ki ichha se badhiya aur business chalega hi. The whole of Ayodhya has become a canvas of artists as they depict the extracts of Lord Ram's life from Tulsi Das Ram Charit Manas. The objective behind the wall paintings is to motivate common people with the lessons of Ramayan, which teach love and sacrifice for others. This is the purpose of the painting that Ram Charit Manas is. उसी से रिलेटेड सारा चित्र बन रहे हैं ताकि लोगों को चित्र के माध्यम से सारी रामायण समझ में आ सके फॉर दी अपकमिंग ग्रैंड ओकेजन एवरी वन इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग एज पर दे केपेबिलिटीज फॉर दी कंसिक्रेशन सेरेमनी वाइल मेनी आर यूजिंग इट एज अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू शो दे क्रिएटिविटी इन एन अनयूजल इंस्टेंस अ डायमंड मर्चेंट क्रिएटेड a ram mandir temple theme necklace in gujarat surat for the purpose of gifting it to the grand temple in ayodhya also many craftsmen have created and are selling replicas of the temple initiatives like these would not only help bring forth the cultural legacy of india but would also bring all the communities under one roof moving on Let's introduce you to the bunch of fools a dedicated group which preaches and practices cleanliness inspired by PM Modi's swachhata abhiyan these enthusiastic volunteers have been making raipur gleam since 2014 by working day and night for the beautification of the city take a look The multicultural city of Raipur in Chhattisgarh state is a blend of old traditions and contemporary influences and is often known for its generous and welcoming nature. With that, Raipur is considered the cleanest city in Chhattisgarh as it secured the 16th position among 47 cities in India with a population of over 10 lakhs. in the 2023 national clean air survey the city has always shown enthusiasm for cleanliness and has welcomed cleanliness drives by government and non-government organizations conducted on a regular basis keeping the spirit the bunch of fools that's what they call themselves are working towards the beautification of the city along with cleanliness Bunch of Fools in Raipur City is an organization full of enthusiastic people who along with working themselves preach cleanliness in the society through awareness drives every Sunday. Inspired by Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or the cleanliness movement of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the organization started its journey in November 2014 to make the city clean. प्रधानमंत्री जी के स्वच्छ भारत अभियान से प्रभावित होकर हमने यह अभियान चालू किया था प्रधानमंत्री जी का अभियान 2 अक्टूबर 2014 को आया था और ठीक उसके एक महीने बाद 2 नवंबर 2014 को हमने यह अभियान चालू किया और उस दिन से लेकर आज तक 9 साल करीब करीब हो चुके हैं और आज हमारा हमारा चार नंबर का स्पॉट है विदाउट एनी गैप आज तक हमने किसी भी तरह की कोई भी छुट्टी नहीं ली है
The stay full keep cleaning concept of the organization has today garnered over 150 people including men, women and children who are associated with the organization and actively working under it. Bunch of fools religiously followed the slogan Hum Sudrenge, Jag Sudrega and instead of just preaching to others, they believe in initiating action. As a part of the cleanliness drive and beautification of the city, volunteers create captivating artwork on the walls, many of which also carry social messages to make people passing by aware of cleanliness. For our life, जो सबसे पहला सबसे पहली चीज हमें प्रोवाइड कर रहा है वो इन्वॉल्वमेंट है तो हमारा भी ड्यूटी बनता है कि हम इन्वॉल्वमेंट को कुछ वापस दें क्लीनिंग ड्राइव करते हैं तो बहुत सारी जगह से कचड़े उठाते हैं ज्यादातर और बहुत जगह पे हम वॉल पेंटिंग्स भी करते हैं फ्रॉम स्पॉटिंग शैबी एंड फिल्दी प्लेसेस इन द सिटी टू कंप्लीटली डूइंग अ मेकओवर ऑफ द प्लेस द टीम ऑफ बंच ऑफ फूल्स वर्क फॉर द एंटायर वीक इन ब्यूटीफाइंग एन एरिया The makeover includes settling the waste at the garbage processing and disposal plants followed by multiple stages such as putting in machines processing making compost and packing compost Furthermore the dry waste is taken to the material recovery and plastic recycling plant where it is processed through many stages such as manual sorting processing and subsequent formation of the plastic granule स्वच्छता के क्षेत्र में बंचा फूल्स रायपुर शहर के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा नाम है राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर भी बंचा फूल्स की जो टीम है युवाओं की टीम है उसको बड़ी ख्याति मिली हुई है जिस समय रायपुर में पहली बार माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी का भी आगमन हुआ था तो वो भी इस टीम से मिले हुए थे और इनमें सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस वॉल्टियर्स हैं इन युवाओं के जो जो प्रॉपरली उन एरियाज को को आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं जहाँ पर सामान्य तौर पर लोगों में एक प्रवृत्ति होती है गंदगी फैलने फैलाने की या मुक्कड़ बनाने की वहाँ पर ये करीब करीब सत्तर दिनों का एक इन्वेस्टिगेशन करते हैं एक रिसर्च करते हैं लोगों के व्यवहार परिवर्तन में काम करते हैं और उसके बाद उसको एक खूबसूरत अपनी पेंटिंग से यही लोग वो सारी पेंटिंग्स भी करते हैं और उस पर नगर निगम का सहयोग लेते हैं रायपुर स्मार्ट सिटी का सहयोग लेते हैं जिला प्रशासन का सहयोग इनको मिलता है और ये लोग उस स्थान को साफ रखते हैं और न सिर्फ साफ रखते हैं बल्कि आगे के दिनों में इस बात का भी ध्यान रखते हैं कि भविष्य में भी वहाँ पर गंदगी न फैलाए तो शहर के ऐसे सैकड़ों पॉइंट्स हैं जिसको इनकी पूरी टीम ने साफ सुथरा किया है स्टोरीज लाइक दीज इंस्पायर नॉट ओनली पीपल टू कम फॉरवर्ड टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू देयर सराउंडिंग्स बट सोसाइटी एज अ होल विच सब्सिक्वेंटली प्लेज अ क्रूशियल रोल इन नेशन बिल्डिंग एंड नाउ सम ऑफ द स्टोरीज दैट मेड न्यूज रिसेंटली Kites colored the skies in Western India during the week-long International Kite Festival in Ahmedabad. पूरे विश्व में प्रचलित करना चाहते हैं हिंदू धर्म को तो सनातन धर्म को प्रचलित करने के लिए हमने ये पूरा काइट डेवलप किया है जिसमें राम भगवान की प्रतिमा है और अपना अयोध्या का जो मंदिर बन रहा है उनकी पूरी छवि है. The festival comes ahead of the Indian Harvest Festival of Makar Sankranti, which takes place on January 14. More than 150 participants from over 70 countries took part in the festival. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi lauded the success of Indian Navy and the Indian Space Research Organisation in the recent success of their missions. The Indian Navy rescued the crew of a merchant vessel after its attempted hijack in the Arabian Sea. and said it had not found any pirates on board an indian navy warship intercepted the liberian flagged mv leela norfolk bulk carrier less than a day after it received a report that the vessel had been hijacked about 460 nautical miles off somalia india's aditya l1 satellite covered approximately 1.5 million kilometers over the span of 4 months 
just a fraction of the Earth's sun distance of 150 million kilometers. Launched on September 2, the spacecraft positioned itself at lag range 0.1 from where it will undertake a comprehensive study of the sun, focusing on the solar corona and its influence on space weather. The lag range point where the satellite is stationed benefits from gravitational forces that allow objects to remain relatively stationary, reducing fuel consumption for the spacecraft. And now, let's take you to Rajasthan's Ajmer, which recently commemorated the 812th Urs of Khwaja Moinuddin Hassan Chishti, also known as Khwaja Garib Nawaz. In this annual ode to inclusivity, people from diverse faiths offered their tributes, reminding the world of the Dargah's enduring legacy as a beacon of harmony. Let's take a look. Nestled amidst the bustling city of Ajmer in Rajasthan, the Dargah of Khwaja Moinuddin Hassan Chishti is not just a revered site for Sufi Muslims, but a beacon of harmony and inclusivity. Every year, during the Urs of Khwaja Moinuddin Hassan Chishti, also known as Khwaja Garib Nawaz, the Darka transforms into a vibrant tapestry of devotion, transcending religious boundaries. People from all walks of life, regardless of their faith, come to the Darka together to offer their heartfelt tribute to the Sufi saint. This year, mark the 812th Urs of the revered Sufi saint of Khwaja Moinuddin Hassan Chishti. मैं पंजाब से बिलोंग करता हूं किस तरह का महसूस हो रहा है बहुत अच्छा आ रहा बहुत ज्यादा पहली बार आए हां पहली बार आया कहां से आए हैं पंजाब से किस तरह का महसूस हो रहा है फजर की नमाज से बहुत बढ़िया महसूस हो रहा है बहुत सुकून मिला यहां पे आके परिवार के साथ हैं परिवार के साथ हैं ये रहे हमारे परिवार The 8th century old darga is a diverse tapestry of devotees Hindus Muslim Sikhs and Christians Everyone come together, offering prayers and seeking blessings from the revered saint while soaking in the spiritual atmosphere. In the bustling Ajmer Darga, amidst the chants and prayers while offering chadars to Khwaja Garib Nawaz during the Urs, one not only witnessed devotion but also a celebration of the common thread that binds humanity together. The sight of saffron heads bowed next to skull caps and turbans was a powerful reminder of the unifying power of faith. This year, Hazrat Khaja Moinuddin Chishti Khaja Gharib Nawaz Rahmatullah Alayka is the 812 year old. And Ajmer Dargah Sharif is the most popular secular religious place in the world. Here, every religion of the world is standing under one side of the world. Khaja Gharib Nawaz is the prayer of the Lord in the prayer. The Urs of Khwaja Moinuddin Hassan Chishti was not just a religious celebration but a testament to the universal teachings of Khwaja Garib Nawaz which convey love, tolerance and service to humanity beyond religious divides. And now some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The Reconstruction Agency organized Japanese language composition contest for foreigners with a Fukushima theme to hasten the recognition of Fukushima's recovery. It invited the top nine winners to Fukushima and nominated them. It seeks to increase understanding of the current Fukushima. を the ーマとした作文を書いていただくマスクときっかけとして、福島の現在のその東日本大震災からの復興の様子であるとか、食とか自然とかまあ魅力がいっぱいございますので、さらに理解をしていただいて、風評の払拭につなげてまいりたいということで開催したものです。三十一の国地域から八百七十八名の方にご応募いただいております。They visited Memorial Museum of Great Earthquake. The area was affected by sixteen point five meters high tsunami in twenty eleven. A museum was also constructed in the damaged area. It transmits painful memory and recovering situation year by year. Yukedo Elementary School was suffered by tsunami. School building is preserved as it was. 
Fortunately, 82 school pupils escaped from tsunami safely, led by teachers' navigation. On that day, tsunami attacked and next day radiation warning of Fukushima nuclear power plant was issued, including compulsory evacuation, so searching of unknown people halted. This cemetery keeps such regretful memory. This aquamarine museum was suffered by earthquake including evacuation of fishes. However, it has fully recovered and is now entertaining guests. J Village was established in 1997 as a hallowed haven of support. This field was used for parking for reconstruction workers following the great earthquake. Now visitors can enjoy some enjoyment from it as it was restored to its former state in 2019. Sushi is a famous delicacy in Japan and Fukushima is famous for its fresh and delicious fish. Foreign visitors learned how to make sushi from the sushi master. To satisfy foreign visitors' curiosity, Reconstruction Agency invited them to grill fish party. It is traditional grill to scotch seafood. Of course, it is the first experience for them. Foreigners' concerns were successfully gathered by the Global Composition Contest. Moreover, they gained extensive knowledge and gratifying experience in Fukushima. It will make the world tie and Fukushima stronger. And finally, meet Rajkumari Sarju, an entrepreneur from Manipur's Imphal, who has carved her path by establishing a business manufacturing soaps, gels and cleansers. Her company not only provides employment opportunities for other women, but also stands as a shining example of women empowerment in the region. Take a look. Imphal in Manipur state is a vibrant blend of culture and tradition with a unique history. The people of Imphal are often identified for their culture and extraordinary skills. While proving this notion right, Rajkumari Sarju in Imphal city is setting an example of women empowerment by setting up business and providing women in her region with the opportunity of employment. Sarju always wanted to be an entrepreneur while working for the empowerment of women in her society. With a small investment of around 50,000, Sarju commenced her business, which manufactures organic products like soap, hand wash and cleansing gels, naming her company RVR Products. Sarju expresses her thoughts about the society and region and what it means to start her business for a woman in her society. We women are, can do anything that what we like and what we have a talent in our inside that a chance to give that we should have, uh, we, we have a talent then we have, uh, we should show to public and we can do it. I, I'll start from my soap, soap. Uh, they are all 100% organic, papaya soap, uh, charcoal, bamboo charcoal soap, and green tea, aqua ocean, uh, and uh, there are many design hampers, design customizing soap also available here. And in liquid item, this was glass cleaner, uh, phenyl, and uh, toilet cleaner, and uh, hand wash. Uh, there are two types of hand wash in different flavor and uh, liquid detergent and there are many lots to be at in process they are in process i'm starting rupees 5 to 60 in soft Mac, uh, minimum 5 rupees to 60 rupees in soft and liquid item in 500 ml i have cost till now 900 the Manipuri entrepreneur pursued a 24-day course from the Craft Tree Academy in India's capital city, New Delhi, and later started her own business, 
with the help of her family, implementing her learning into the startup. Today, she manufactures and sells products like dishwashers, hand wash, glass cleaners, soaps in different varieties such as charcoal, lemon and papaya and gels under RVR products. I feel it's very delightful that I can spin here uh, with my sister, colleagues and uh, we are working here very happily and after that we went home and then we stay with our family again. Just like that we spend our time like this. So uh, I'm very grateful to be here that unlike other unemployed uh, women in our society. These stories are like fireflies for women with dreams. They go beyond merely motivating women and encourage a society as a whole to embrace equality and mutual respect. And that's all we have for you this week. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team. Thank you.